All right, so the next part uh, in, in kind of concluding Batista and looking at, at Castro is Operación Verano, which is just translate to Operation Summer. Um, and we'll look at Castro's victory as well today. So Operación Verano was basically Batista's way to kind of like his last resort, his last counterattack to kind of just push down Castro. Um, so by June 1858, Batista believed that things were turning in his favor because of that false sense of support, right? So he decided to 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 um, launch Operation Summer by deploying about 12K troops um, backed by air support, tanks, artillery, all the weapons, all the good stuff, right? Um, and it doesn't hurt to have the support of the United States, the funding. So while Batista did have more soldiers and equipment on his side, he was held back for for major reasons, which is what led to his loss. Um, spoiler alert, right? More than half of the soldiers that were deployed by Batista during this operation had little training. And, you know, a lot of them were not motivated to fight. You know, a lot of them realized they're fighting against their own interests. Batista's not going to do anything for them. So why would they continue, right? And they're fighting their own people um, that just want health care, right? They just want a little bit more rights. And so that's part of it. Another part of it is, you know, the operation of command that Batista had, had two rival generals that wanted to do things their own way. They just weren't collaborating um, in, in a way that would make this operation effective. Also, by mid-1858, the local population supported Castro in the east, in the Oriente, the province, Oriente province, um, and would inform his troops of Batista's movements. So anything the peasants would see, they would just like snitch to uh, to Castro and be like, hey, this is what's going on. I saw them at this time, at this place, going this way, right? On the contrast, though, they were also misleading Batista's troops and lying about what Castro's uh, troops were doing. So very sneaky. Again, Castro would not have won any of this if it were not for the peasants. Uh, Batista's first encounter with Castro rebels was a disaster, and they suffered heavy losses. Um, Castro's men often treated the enemy soldier with no mercy, um, and to the point where the troops began to switch. Oh, sorry, treated the men with mercy. I, I, I read no mercy, sorry. Yes, Castro's men, I was confused. I was like, wait, that's not right. Um, Castro's men treated the enemy soldier with mercy, as I stated in the last lecture of treating their rooms explaining the things and kind of giving them a chance it's like hey if you want to join us join us right and they would right and to the point where they were grabbing weapons for them and giving it to castro's men um the only victory that batista had during operation verano was in la batalla de mercedes august 9th july 27 to 29th through august 8th um, but this victory was more on castro's side because yeah batista captured some of uh, castro's troops they were able to escape because Castro tricked Batista into thinking that there was going to be a negotiation. And while these negotiations were happening, the men escaped. Um, next one. So the failure of Operation Summer made Batista well aware that the near the end was near for him. Castro's forces were moving more and more into central Cuba, getting gaining more crown, ground and getting gaining more support of the peasant and army deserters, right? People leaving Batista's army to join Castro. By December 1850, 50, 1958, Castro's rebel army had basically about 3,000 members, um, and it was growing. It was growing. Remember, they started with only 18, and this this dude is just multiplied that by a bunch. Um, after bitter fighting in, in the cities of Santiago and Santa Clara, Batista's army was defeated on December 30th, 1958, and Batista basically had to flee to the Dominican Republic. Uh, Castro entered the next day, January, oh wait, not the next day, a few days later, January 2nd, 1959, into the city of Havana and basically parades, right? They won. The rebels won. And that's what it was. So you have to analyze why Batista, re, Batista's regime collapsed. And these are some of the reasons. According to historians, uh, you, ha you, you see it because of, of corruption and just, you know, being barbarous, being so cruel to the people and how, how they treated the people versus Castro. That was not the case, right? Remember, with the kindness and generosity, anybody who was caught not doing that was punished. Um, so 
also, Batista believed that he was going to have the same level of popularity as he did from the first time he was president. That was not the case, especially because Batista failed to address any of the social issues that Cubans were like begging for these things to change. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything about corruption. He didn't do anything to support any of the social classes. That's why none of the social classes backed him up. Um, business owners did not want Batista anymore because Batista's pro-U.S. policies seemed to be benefiting the U.S. more than their own businesses, and they were catching on, and they just didn't want to give... They would rather take a chance with Castro than with Batista. Um, the M267 promises of reducing corruption was more appealing to the working class. Batista failed to counter Castro's propaganda, um, especially the radio station propaganda. Um, this propaganda led to U.S. public... Uh, led to the U.S. public pr uh, to pressure the U.S. government in, in stopping to support Batista because of all this propaganda that was making its way to the United States from Castro, which is really weird. Um, international awareness of, of what was happening in Cuba, again, made Batista very unpopular um, and very pro-Castro for that moment in time, which again led to the United States having to stop supplying Batista with weapons for this for this situation. Not because they didn't like Batista, but it's because it's like, oh my God, it looks really bad that we're supporting Batista at this moment in time, especially because he's doing all of these things. So they had to do that. Um, but that's it. Uh, bye.